Today we heard the FBI director's explanation for what happened in the days and hours leading up to the Capitol insurrection. It's the latest hearing painting a more clear picture of what caused this massive security failure. WUSA 9 investigative reporter Nathan Baca live for us again on the Hill. And Nathan, Director Ray had to defend the way that the Bureau handled intelligence reports. Well, Adam, we learned last Tuesday about the existence of an email from the FBI Norfolk office that warned about uh, possible dangers of an insurrection. Now, the former Capitol Police Chief Stephen Sun says that his department got that email, but it never got to his desk, even though it arrived just hours before the Capitol insurrection. Do you affirm the testimony you're about? To FBI Director Christopher Wray testified to the Senate Judiciary Committee for nearly four hours. He used the phrase domestic terrorism to describe the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Director Wray also characterized online chatter about attacking the Capitol that FBI Norfolk agents spotted online the night before the riot. My understanding is that this was uh, information posted online uh, under a moniker or a, a pseudonym. Uh, it was unvetted, uncorroborated information, but it was, uh, and it was somewhat aspirational in nature, but it was concerning. It was concerning and was specific enough that we, That's our folks in Norfolk, thought the need to get it out. Senator Amy Klobuchar of Minnesota read aloud what the email reportedly said. Glass breaking, doors being kicked up, blood being spilled. Um, we get our president or we die. Uh, go there ready for war. The FBI warned. When pressed on whether sending the last warning through one email the night before the Capitol attack was enough, Ray countered that warning was sent a variety of ways not previously disclosed by Capitol Police leaders in prior testimony. Passed within, I think, 40 minutes to an hour uh, to our partners, uh, including the Capitol Police, including Metro PD, and not one, not two, but three different ways. One email, one verbal, and one through the law enforcement portal. So when asked whether or not that FBI Norfolk email would have made any sort of difference in the hours just before the attack, the former police chief for the Capitol Police said that he had already asked the uh, House and Senate sergeants at arms for National Guard support, but that request was denied up until the moment that protesters had already breached the Capitol. Reporting live, Nathan Baca, WUSA 9. Yeah, there's just so much still to unpack from this whole thing. I know you'll be staying on top of it for us. Nathan, thank you. The hearings will continue tomorrow. Congress is going to hear from the commanding general of D.C.'s National Guard. William Walker will testify before a Senate panel. Some of those congressional members say they're looking for clarity on the delay in getting guard troops to help drive rioters out of the Capitol.